graduated in 1990 with a degree in electronic engineering. I went to Sheffield University as a mature student. I was, I was 32 when I uh, started at Sheffield and I had two small children who were at the time five and seven, so it was quite difficult for me to, to fit all that in. Um, and, and Sheffield were fantastic in, in helping me to do that. I don't ever feel that I was out of place, even though I was 10, 12 years older than the majority of the students there and in some cases older than some of the lecturing staff. Um, I, just, I just fitted in uh, and I fitted in socially as well. So we, certainly some of the women uh, that, I, that I became very friendly with and, and we did things together. And so I, I didn't ever find any problem. It was, it was a great experience. That, that came from my study of, with open university modules when my children were small and I'd, I'd not done particularly well at school uh, at A-level, I'd passed physics and chemistry, failed A-level maths um, and just gone in, drifted into chemistry from, from school and I, I, I suppose I, I got interested in mathematics because I was, I was determined that I could do it, that, that I should be able to do it started to study some mathematics modules with the Open University and then got, got more interested in the engineering side of that and how the mathematics could be applied. So that's how I got into it, I fell into it really. I work for the Open University, I'm a senior lecturer in the Department of Engineering and Innovation which is part of the Faculty of Mathematics, Computing and Technology. I've worked for the Open University for 20 years, um, almost since I graduated. Um, for the last 10 years I've been an Associate Dean for, for Learning and Teaching with responsibility for setting the Learning and Teaching strategy for the, for the faculty. Um, but I've just stopped doing that and I, I've come back into the department as a senior lecturer and I'm now working on producing module materials for the students. They knew when, when I was interviewed for a place at Sheffield that teaching was, was where I wanted to go. And I can remember saying to one of the uh, lecturers that interviewed me that I really wanted his job. <laughs> um, I'd been at home um, with two small children for seven years. And the one thing that I would say that Sheffield gave me was the confidence to go back into the workforce. Do what you're interested in. Um, don't do something because you think you should do it. Do it because it really sets your heart on fire and, and it's what you want to do and you're passionate about it. That would be my advice. This isn't something that you could, you know, it's a choice between career and family. It's not. It's something that you can. If you're determined to do, you can do that. I think a lot of the, the, the lecturing staff at the time didn't really know uh, or didn't, didn't perceive that it would be any different for female students. Um, why would it be? How could an engineering possibly be gendered? Female students um, often need to be able to relate to, to what uh, is being taught. And if you can do that, put it in a context that female students can relate to, then it's much more successful. Uh, I did a little bit of postgrad work when I was at, at Sheffield University, and one of the things we did was organise some days for. Um, 14 year old girls to come into the department, play, they may produce and, and towers out of rolled up newspaper and try to, to lift masses with motors that they made themselves. They got onto bicycles and tried to light up light bulbs and see how much effort there was in, in, in doing that. Um, and we, what we were trying to dispel were the, were the myths around engineering that you need to get your hands dirty or it's all about scrubbing around and the, the, the bonnet of a car and that's nothing to do with what a professional engineer does. Um, so I think the more that, that the university can engage in those kind of activities to, to really dispel the myth about what engineering is and um, to ensure that people understand what a professional engineer does and how exciting a career 